We are going to divide a two digit number by a one digit number by using a quick pick of a model to represent area. For this example, I will be using grid paper. We know with just having the expression, there's no context or information for each of these numbers. So we're gonna relate this expression to finding the area or finding the length and width of an area. We have 24 divided by six. Since 24 is the total, it's gonna represent the total area, the total amount of square units in our rectangle that we're going to draw. The six can represent the width or it could represent the length. For this example, we're gonna have it represent the width. So again, I know on my grid that I'm gonna have a rectangle with a total of 24 square units. The width of that rectangle is gonna be six square units. So I'm gonna start where I know I have enough to get to six, I'm gonna shade in a row of six square units. And remember, this is just one way that you can practice division with your students and connect and relate it to finding area. So I have the row of six square units. I'm gonna continue to add rows of six square units until I get to the total amount of 24 square units. So I'm gonna write a note over here on the side. When kids are counting rows or columns or groups, I always want them to have little notes just to help them count so that they don't lose their total count as they go along. So we have six square units. I'm gonna shade in another row of six, five, six. have 24 square units. Just going to outline that rectangle. And the width was six square units. Now I can count to see how many rows of six made 24. One, two, three, four. So that means the length is four. So the width was six, the length was four, so 24 divided by six equals four. We're gonna look at another example with smaller grid paper. You can find these templates of grid paper over on my website, mathbell.com, where we have free resources. So our next example is 32 divided by eight. So again, I know my rectangle is gonna have a total amount of square, 32 square units. And then I'm gonna use the eight to represent the length or the width. So the width, we did the width in the last example. We're gonna do eight as the length in this example. So I'm gonna start with my pencil. So I know my length is going to go vertically so I'm going to shade in eight square units going down one column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight in this first column. Add another column of eight and continue adding columns of eight until I get to the, our total amount or our area, which is 32. Okay, so we have 32 total square units. We have eight square units in each column. So I'm going to outline the rectangle to find out how many columns we have to represent our width. So we had a length of eight. Our width is one two, three, four full columns. So 32 divided by eight equals four. Let's do one more example. And again, with these grid paper templates, you can use them for differentiation based on where your students are. You can use a whole group, small group. 
or individually to help the students better understand finding area and to help with multiplication and division. All right, so in this example, our expression is 20 divided by four. So again, I know my total amount of square units in the rectangle is gonna be 20. The four can represent the length or the width. So we're gonna have the um, four represent the width. So we're gonna do four going across. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna add a label just to help me count. I want my students to keep count as they're going along with their model. So four, I'm gonna add another row of four until I get to 20. Remember we had a width of four and we knew that there were 20 square units that were gonna be in the rectangle and we divided it by four. So how many rows of four are there? One, two, three, four, five. So that is a length of five. So 20 divided by four equals five. Today we divided a two digit number by a one digit number using a quick picture of a model that represents area.